Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about CX Programmer. And the CX Programmer will be used to program our ladder logic in our CP1H Omron PLC. And the best thing to do is to actually get, get yourself a hold of the CX Programmer Install Introduction Guide. This will take you through step by step of doing everything um, associated with the CX Programmer. It's a great resource to have when you're first starting out. Now, remember that the CX Programmer is actually part of the Armron CX1 Factory Automation Integration Tool Package. Basically what that means is that this, this package will control a lot of things like your touch screens, um, other components, all the networking, all the special I.O. Um, and you can up and monitor everything using the CX1 package. So in order to start the uh, program, we can uh, basically, I'm not going to cover the installation. The installation guide is actually covered in the CX programmer introduction guide. So what we'll do is we'll jump right into the programming. In order to start it, if you go on your start, all programs, Omron, CX1, and then CX1 programmer file, or the directory, and then CX1 programmer, you will start, um, you will see the program start up. On my particular screen here, I have an icon that I just copied, and all I have to do is just click on it. So it starts up, and here's our are basically our blank window and if uh, I go and call back up our um, introduction guide you can see here that it does take you through the installation and online registration and then we have over here what all the different symbols and and uh, things are within that now we'll come back to that so here's our empty um, program and the first thing we'll do is we will do new you can see that I can click this icon or I can hit control N or I can get file new. So several different ways of doing the same thing within the CX programmer software. So we'll click that and it comes up with this our uh, change PLC. So this is actually the name of the PLC that we're going to call that's going to be programmed on our network. In our case we'll just call it uh, ACC PLC our device type and we want a CP1H and we will look over here to the settings and here we can tell what kind of, uh, of CPU we have and in our case here we have an XA which has the analog um, built into the unit as we saw last time when we looked at the um, hardware so we'll just say OK um, you also notice just before we go back to settings, there's my CPU type. If I had anything else like the file memory loaded, you can see that I can change it to the file memory, which I don't. Um, you'll also see that the items that you can um, select are there. The ones that you cannot are not highlighted, so you cannot select them. And we'll say OK. Now if you do that make default, that means that every time that you um, add a new PLC it will actually do this default for you so we're not going to do that so we'll just hit OK and then the next setting here is our network type for now we're going to use a USB this uh, CP1H actually has a USB connector that I can use to program this unit and under comment we can actually comment this PLC we'll just say ACC automation and we'll hit OK. So now that we have it set up, now we have a different screen showing. And there's basically two different um, items. If we go back again to our introduction guide, you will see that this is my project tree on this side, and this is my ladder window that I have here. They're my two main ones. You'll see my output uh, window that we'll talk about in a bit. The others are we have some information, um, CX programmer information. We have title bar, menus, toolbars, just like most uh, Windows based applications. So going back here, 
we'll actually see okay so there's my um, my tree and this is my ladder so on my ladder what we'll do is um, we'll actually program in a stop start jog circuit and what we'll do is we'll uh, there's again a couple different ways of doing different things you can see my symbols are up here and what we're doing is actually going section one here and you also notice that I have an end statement the end statement automatically defaults and it's there for me so I can as you notice I'm double clicking here and what I can do now is just start drawing my ladder in section one so what we'll do is um, we'll just create that start stop jog circuit for us and it starts off with a new contact you can also see I can hit C and then we drag this onto our, our board our new contact we're gonna call it uh, input 00 or input 0, 0.00 say OK we'll give it a comment we'll say start then um, what we'll do is we will also add another contact and we'll add this we'll say stop and this will be contact uh, 0 0.01 and then our output is going to be our motor so we'll just grab our output here again and then just put here output contact and that'll be an in the cp1h it's actually output start at 100 so 100.00 and we'll call that motor now in order to join some of this stuff up if we go back to our pointer and we hit control and over arrow you'll see that we can do the join and joins it all up for us. Now, well, underneath that, we want a jog and we want a ceiling contact. So, again, hit the control and hit down arrow key. We'll actually create a down arrow. And you'll notice that on the left hand side, we actually turn red. That means that the circuit is not complete. So, again, we'll put another contact here for our jog. And our jog will be uh, 0 0.02. Okay. Leave that jog. And then we'll complete that circuit. Again, control, right arrow, joins that up. And you can see my circuit looks good. And on the jog, we're going to do the ceiling contact now. So control, down arrow. And on this, we will have our motor contact. Which is 100.00. And we will also put in a work bit, a jog work bit. And we're going to use that as a normally closed. And that will be, we'll say it's 20.00. And that'll be, we'll call it jog work bit. We'll say OK. Again, I have no red arrow here so everything looks good our next line address number two will be our jog input going to the jog work bit so if we want we could call up our, our, our just hit C for contact and you'll see it pops up as well and then we can hit 0 0.02 and our output we'll grab it and our output will be 20.00. Again, you'll notice that all our comments pop up because we've already programmed them in. So then we'll just do the join, control and right arrow, and it joins it up. And now what we have is uh, our completed circuit. Now we can save that. So we can go up here, say project. It will actually tell us what the name we want. We'll do the start stop jog. You'll notice that we have the CPX as the file extension and then we'll hit just save. Now because we already have it in there we'll just say yes we're going to replace that. Then the other thing we can do is actually 
test the program and make sure that um, everything's okay, it compiles fine. So when we do that, we hit compile or control F7. And what will happen is it will actually come up and it tells us right down here in this new program we have zero errors and zero warnings. So we know that everything is good in this program. Okay. Again, we just hit save again. And that's our program written in CX Programmer. That's it for today. And if you like this video and like to see more, if you can give us a thumbs up on this YouTube. Um, also, there's three ways you can help us out. The first thing you can do is you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. You could also go to our uh, website at accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll be notified every time we publish new content. And as a thank you, you'll get two free ebooks, one on numbering systems and one on robust, robust data logging. And the third thing to help us out is just to tell a friend or colleague about this site. All right. And remember that all the links that you see and we talked about here are actually on our website for this uh, particular video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.